Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked, and today we're going to be talking about the retrospective 40 bag from Think Tank Photo. I recently sent Think Tank Photo an email asking them to send me out a bag where I could actually have a DSLR camera and a few other things like a laptop and still have a little extra room to put some other trinkets and other things that I like to carry with me on a daily basis. Now, what I have been using on a daily basis is a backpack. I don't go anywhere without my backpack, just about. And the problem is my backpack doesn't fit a DSLR camera. So I don't really fill my backpack up all the way, but I don't have room for a camera. And that's a big thing for me because I really feel like lately I've just not been taking my camera around as much as I should. So I want to switch over to a more camera oriented daily bag. So I uh, sent Think Tank a message, kind of explained that to them. They sent me out the retrospective 40, thinking that would be the best fit for me for what I want. So what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to take all of this camera equipment here. I'm going to put it in here. Then we're going to take everything out of my backpack and I'm going to take what I need out of my backpack and try to fit it into here and get rid of what I don't need in my backpack because not everything that's in my backpack I need on a daily basis. So this is a pretty awesome bag. It's, it's really well built and we're going to go over a really in-depth further review here down the line in the video. But just for now, I just want to kind of see, kind of take everything out of my backpack put this in and kind of see how much room I've got left. So, of course, I got to have my camera body. I got my uh, Canon T3i with a, let's see here, a 28-75 2.8 lens. So we'll go on and, and throw that down. Now, I don't use a flash all the time, but I like to kind of have one with me. They have flash pockets in this, so it's kind of cool. I can just throw my flash right in an actual designated pocket for it. And probably, if I probably took these out of its packaging, my batteries for my flash, they can probably fit right down in the pocket with the flash, and yes, they do. So I'll throw that off to the side. Uh, the 10 to 22 millimeter lens, we'll go on and throw that in here. Uh, batteries and SD cards, I got an SD card flying out of my hand here, and the small piece and this is something you don't want to lose this is uh, the battery cap for for the camera if you're not if you're not running with the a third party I have a third party battery grip in there so it's got room to actually fit all my SD cards in here it's got like little pouches to put them in and my my batteries uh, caps here I always keep my lens pen with me which is great for cleaning your lenses so we'll go on and throw that in. Uh, my cover, my hood for the 10 to 22. And then, of course, I need my Black Rapid camera strap. So that's what I want to take with me on a daily basis wherever I go. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take everything out of this backpack and figure out what's important and what's not. I got a t-shirt in here. Don't need that. Uh, iPhone business cards which is kind of cool actually I'm going to move my business cards to you actually have a business card holder here and let me just throw this in here they kind of built in your own business card holder so I'm gonna put all my business cards in here so I no longer need this <clears throat> I used I usually keep a point-and-shoot with me wherever I go just you know you never know when you need it but now that I'm gonna have a DSLR point-and-shoot something I don't really need Got to have gum, Sharpie pen, always take that around. Always has some external hard drives. <clears throat> uh, one of them's got a backup of all my uh, Lightroom uh, files for, for far as editing and all my photos. So that's, that's a definite must have with me at all times. Uh, and then I have a bag full of like cords and this, most of these cords go to my hard drives or uh, I have my iPhone 5, so I've got a cord to charge that. As well, I've got this with something really cool that anybody that, that has a professional business, you've got a, I got this PayPal thing where I can swipe and charge people via PayPal and it goes right into my PayPal account. So this is kind of an important bag of just cords that I use on a daily basis. So that's going to go in there. They actually, I believe, have a pin spot up here where you can put my pin in there and I'm going to throw my gum up here in the front. So let's see if I've got anything else. Um... I like to keep a Leatherman with me. Let's see what I've got in here. But this is nothing important. 
charger for my point and shoot. Don't need that in there now. And I usually keep some thumb drives with me, but they're not in my backpack at the moment. So um, you've got a nice little pocket on the side. Probably just slide the, the iPhone in there and my Leatherman there. Now we've got a power cord for my laptop and my 13-inch MacBook Pro, which I absolutely love. Bluetooth headphones, get a pair of these because these are fantastic. I take them wherever I go and I use them every day almost. I have an iPad. I'm really not going to need my iPad. I don't know why I keep my iPad and my laptop together because I really only use my laptop. So the iPad is off to the side. And then I have a folder of paperwork for work, which should hopefully fit in the same pouch with the 13-inch MacBook Pro. And I think, I believe that is everything on, in the main pockets. We'll see what we got in the side pockets. I'm in retail, so I always got to take some cologne with me. You know, I got to keep myself fresh all day long. Sometimes I'm working 11-hour days. Uh, measuring tape. Really probably don't need a measuring tape, so I'll throw it off to the side. Uh, sticky notes, you never know when you could use a sticky note. And let's see what else we got in here. And then just a little bit of medicine here. Uh, my nose gets stopped up sometimes, so I gotta have this stuff to make my nose, but I don't really need that. And I do have stomach problems from time to time, so I like to keep my tums with me. And I think I've taken everything out of my backpack. Goodbye backpack. Hello, think tank bag. So let's see if we can fit these all in here. So let's do the laptop first. Put the folder in. Laptop. Well, that fits nice and comfortable. Now power cord should have enough room here on the side to throw my power cord in here. And let's see here. I think I could fit my cologne over on this side probably. No, well, maybe, maybe not tight squeeze on the cologne so the cologne may get moved to the front here Tums, and then this we'll put in the bag with the SD card where I keep all my SD cards and batteries we'll put that sticky note up there and then we'll throw the Bluetooth headphones in the front so after all that said and done there is going to be my new daily bag now I don't have it to where it's velcroed but it looks like it's it's a little bit full this bag is is not completely full, but I would say we are about at 85% capacity right now. So I'm gonna set this up so that it actually Velcros down and secures everything. And there you go. There is my new daily bag. It's, uh, it's a little heavy, but then again, it's not much heavier than the backpack. Um, it's just going to be a lot more strain on one specific shoulder than having an actual backpack where you could carry around. But you can also also has a holder here, so you could hold it this way. So this isn't going to bother me. And the nice thing is, I now have I now can have a camera with me wherever I go. And that's that was the main thing is I need to have a DSLR camera wherever I go. So we're going to dive in more in depth into the bag.